That's right, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use and automate one of the best freely available Bitcoin trading strategies in the universe. It's called Gaussian channel strategy. And on the daily Bitcoin chart, it made a net profit of 1,895% since 2018 with a max drawdown of 30% and a profit factor of 3.2. Now, guys, did you make more profit on Bitcoin since 2018? Because if not, you should consider using this strategy. And I have developed it myself. I put it out there on the internet to help you guys to not get wrecked one more time in the next bear market, but also to make money on the way up, right? In the bull market, which is right now, in my opinion. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it, how to automate it, how the settings work, all of that. And the reason I'm doing this is because this strategy blew up quite literally when I made this video here to show people bad strategies and also bad settings for strategies. It totally blew up. And in that video, I mentioned that I have this freely available strategy. If people come to the Telegram and they create a Signum account, they get this strategy fully for free. Now, a lot of questions came in how to use it, how to automate it and everything. Well, for me, it's easy, but for you, it's maybe not. So this video will now explain how to put it on the chart, how to automate the whole thing and how to make it work for yourself. We're going to use it on the one day chart on Bitcoin, but I'm also going to show you how to use it on the four hour chart so that you can get signals faster. It's also profitable there, but you need to know which settings to use. So in this video, I'm going to show you all of that. And if you want access to this trading strategy, then I will show you at the end of the video. And the reason for that is because first you need to know how it works and everything and then if you like it you should get access right so make sure to watch the whole video and keep in mind this video is not financial advice you can lose all of your money in crypto because it's quite risky but that's why guys you subscribe to this freaking channel and you watch my knowledge playlist because my knowledge playlist is hands down life-changing for any retail crypto investor okay so make sure to check it out subscribe like this video if it helps you and with all of that in mind, get your coffee and let's go, guys. Okay, guys, first of all, I have a Bitcoin chart on the one day and I'm on the Bitcoin USD index chart, guys. That's the best chart for Bitcoin, in my opinion, and especially for all good trading. Long story why, just use that. Now, in order to get the strategy on your chart, you need to put this one on your favorites, okay, click on add to favorites. You're not going to have access immediately if you don't have it yet, because like I said, I will tell you how to do that at the end of the video. But once you have it in your indicators, you can then click on it. Where is it here? Click on it once and it will appear on your chart, okay? And it might be locked until I give you access. And after I gave you access, you need to reload TradingView because it's not smart enough to understand that you now have access. And once you have reloaded it, you will see it the same way that I have it now on my chart. The next thing you need to do, because I don't really like this, all of this information on the chart, go to the settings, click on this cog and go to style and disable signal labels and quantity. And now it looks a bit more clean. And as you can see here, it makes exactly the profit that I showed you in the beginning of the video with exactly the numbers and it's outperforming Bitcoin. Okay, obviously makes sense. Okay, guys. So this is the strategy. You can now fully automate it with Signum. I will show you in a couple of minutes. The next thing you need to understand is what kind of settings does this strategy have? Let's go to input and on the input, this is very helpful. It gives you a chance to decide when the strategy starts to trade and also when it ends, right? So 2060, it's sometime in the future. That's all good. But it starts trading 2018-0101 because that's the time when I always start testing my strategies. It's the full bear market. And I think testing a strategy while it goes down is making it very hard for the strategy, which is good. So if the strategy can still produce good numbers, for me, that means a lot, okay? The other settings that you have here are for the one day chart. So those are the best settings, I think, for any asset, any crypto asset for the one day chart. So you can keep it like that. As long as you are on the one day chart, if you are moving to the four hour and I will show you later, then you need different settings. OK, so this is the strategy. It's quite simple. Let's look at a couple of trades here. OK, so how does it work? Well, it's quite simple. Whenever the price goes above the upper line, right, then you can see it triggers a trade. And when it goes below the upper line, it closes the trade. OK, sometimes it has fake outs, right, where it goes up and down again. But that's OK, because this is also see avoiding drawdown. So that's okay, right? And so when you have a strong trend to the upside, then 
this makes a lot of sense and it makes good money, right? When you have a sideways market, you can see it has a lot of these fake trades, but again, it's not a lot of money there, so that's fine, but you keep in mind that this is gonna happen and it's not always gonna make money with every single trade, obviously not. And right now, guys, it's in a trade because, well, Bitcoin seems to be quite bullish, okay? So this is how it works. It, it does exactly the same thing from 2018 and until now it makes this profit, okay? and with this drawdown and so on, okay? So those are the numbers, this is how it works. Okay, speaking of numbers, we also have to look at the settings of the strategy and if you watched any of my videos, especially the last one, then you know how important this is. So let's go to the properties and here, we have to make sure to use percentage, we do that. We have a commission of 0.1%, we do that. We have slippage of three and we have none of these other checkboxes because they might be cheating, okay? Might be repainting and looking ahead and all this stuff. So those are the settings that we're gonna go with. I'm using 100% of equity simply because it makes it easier to test the strategy. In real life, you can use less, but actually you don't really need it to be here in this setting because you can just put less money on the account that you're trading on and that's how you decide how much money you give the strategy. I will show you that actually right now because I wanna show you how to take this strategy and how to automate it. The first thing you need is a Signum account, guys, because you need to have it connected to TradingView and Signum then connected to your exchange so that the trades can be executed. So Signum is very nice because it has a very easy way to automate, I will show you now, and you will be quite blown away in my opinion. And Signum has all the features that you need to keep track of your automation, make everything super easy. I'm not gonna go into the details, you will see, okay? So click on sign up now, create an account, and I see you on the other side of that account, it's very easy to do. All right, once you have an account, it will look something like this, it will ask you to create a bot, so click on that button, connect the exchange that you wanna use, and it will guide you through the whole process. It's very, very easy. So I will use Bybit in this example. I'm already connected. I have to create an API key, put it here. Everything is fully explained. You have to first create a sub-account because every bot has to be on its own sub-account. If you want to know why, watch this video. It's absolutely best practice and you must learn this stuff. It's very easy to do. So you create a sub-account, just two screenshots to do that, very simple. Then. For that sub-account, you create an API key, right? You create that key, you paste it here on the top, right? And then you click validate. Then you give your bot a title, you choose a trading pair. In my case, it will be Bitcoin USDT, right? And you put funds on the account, right? You have to move funds from your main account into the sub-account. That's exactly when you decide how much money, right? You wanna give that trading bot, which is ultra easy to manage as well on the long run, okay? This setup is the best setup for automation ever. I already have a bot, as you can see here, it is paused. So let's activate this bot here. And now I have it on the top like this. Once you have created your bot, you will see the same thing. So create a bot with Bybit, for example, give it a good name, choose BTC USDT, and let's click on the bot to get into the settings. So this is what I can see here. I can see the API key that I have created for this sub-account and this bot, meaning that if I wanna find the sub-account later on, I can use this key to find exactly the one that I've connected to this. And then you can see that Signum is fetching all of the assets that are on this sub-account that is connected with this API key. That is very nice because it shows you which assets you can trade with, right? So I have USDT, so obviously I can have Bitcoin USDT, right? It makes sense. If you don't see any assets there, then often the reason is that you didn't put it on the trading account. It might be on the funding account, okay? It has to be on the unified trading, or sometimes it's called only trading account, or sometimes, like in Binance, it's called spot account, okay? So that's where the money has to be, right? So if you don't see the money here, then go to your exchange, make sure you send the money to the right place, and remember that we show you in Signum how to do that, right? When you create a bot, you click on the exchange that you're working with, and then here it says fund account, and for every single exchange, we have a tutorial on how to do that, guys, okay? So it's very simple, right? So let's go back to our bot to understand what to do next. So now if you wanna automate this, okay? Cause now you have a bot, you have connected it to your exchange. Now, the only thing you have to do is to copy this, copy this, and copy this, and that's it, okay? So let me show you exactly, step by step, how to do it. So go to Trading View, choose your time frame. This one is the one day Bitcoin chart, everything, because everything has to be perfect before you do the automation, because when you create this alert, you have to click on this button, it will remember all of these settings. So you have to put the settings to be perfect, right, for your automation. So do I want this performance? Yes. Do I have all the settings proper? Yes, that's what I want, great. Now let's click on this button to create 
an automation to connect it to Signum. So it's very easy now. We have to just copy this, right? Copy the title, put it here, then go back to Signum, copy all of this, just copy paste, right? It's going to be 100% in and out because it says here order size will be 100% and the action will be determined by the strategy itself whenever it's executed. So it can be buying or selling, right? So copy the whole thing and just put it here instead of what is there already, just that, that's it. And now go to notifications and make sure to turn on the webhook URL. And here you have to put this URL here, copy this, right? And put it here, okay? So basically you're done, but I wanna explain to you very quickly the expiration date. Make sure to put one in the future, okay? Don't have it expire in like one or two days or something, okay? So click create and that's it guys, you have now fully automated this trading strategy. Yeah! It's so easy to automate that it might not even look like you have done a big thing now, but it's actually massive because check it out. If you click here on the alert button, then you can see all of your alerts. And this is the one that you have created. Now, those curly bracket things, those are placeholders. So whenever the strategy, right, this strategy here has a buy or a sell signal. And by the way, if you didn't know, then the blue arrows, they are buy signals and the pink arrows, they are actual sell signals. And this is what TradingView is also tracking here in the list of trades. And this is how it calculates the backtest and everything, right? Now, the alert will get filled in by the strategy and all these placeholders, right? Like the strategy order action will be given by the strategy. So if the strategy is buying, then it will say, buy, right? All these brackets are removed and instead it puts all the placeholders how they should be. So all of these will be replaced by the strategy's actions. And so you have to know another thing that if there is already a buy signal that has been triggered already and you start now, then you're not going to get the historic signals. That would be horrific, you know, that would be pretty bad. So you want only the future signals, right? So you have created this alert today, right? At 1402 and stuff. So every alert from that point in time, or you can also say every trading signal from that point in time will be sent to Signum, right? And then Signum will send it to your connected sub account to actually trade for you, right? So remember this graphic here. So the alert comes, right? With the buy signal, let's say, and then Signum will do the right thing to figure out what is 100%, right? How much money you have there, and then send a trade, a market order, to buy and the market order to sell, right? Whenever there is a sell signal, okay? So you will have the future signals, right? So you will follow this strategy exactly the way that it's executing here on your chart. Now, guys, I went to the one minute chart. Of course, it's fully unprofitable to do that, but I want to show you that I've created an alert for the one minute chart. And you see here, it triggered an alert for buying. Let's see actually what it triggered. Here you can see it triggered a buy action and all the placeholders have been replaced. And if I go here to Signum all the way down and I do refresh log, I can see that today, exactly when I'm recording the video, the bot has sent a signal, Signum has identified it, has performed successfully an order on Bybit, and now I have Bitcoin, right? Now let's scroll up and reload this page because now you see Signum is fetching the newest information about my assets and you see my USDT is gone and now I have some Bitcoin. Problem is it's very small amount of Bitcoin. So here on Bybit, this is my demo account, I have $49, but those $49 are in Bitcoin, right? You can see I don't have almost any USDT anymore. I bought for 100% and now I have Bitcoin, right? When the next signal comes for selling, right? It will just sell all the Bitcoin and put it back into USDT, right? And why it's doing that is because it has the trading pair Bitcoin USDT, right? So we go from Bitcoin to USDT and then from USDT to Bitcoin, back and forth, back and forth, right? Based on the trading signals from the strategy. Now on the one day chart, if you do exactly that, it makes a lot of money, right? On the one minute, that was just a demo, it doesn't make money, right? You can also see that in the back test. So I would never ever automate this because I wanna make money. This is just for testing purposes. But let me show you that you can actually make money with the strategy on the four hour chart, right? On the long term, if you know the right settings. Okay guys, now I'm on the four hour chart, but to remind you, right? If I click on the daily, these are the performance numbers, okay? Not changing any settings, going to the four hour, you can see it is also profitable, guys, okay? Yes, it has a higher drawdown of 44%, but it still makes 956% net 
profit, guys, okay? The settings are all the same from 2018 and so on. Of course, listen, if I can choose, I will go on the one day because it makes way more money, right? With less risk, with less drawdown. But if you want to have a profitable setup of this strategy on the four hour, then let me show you what you need to change. Okay, guys, jumping into the future, those are the settings you need to change. You have to change the source to high, low divided by two, pulse four, sampling period 144 and filter through range multiplier 2 and then you get these numbers on the 4 hour chart guys okay 1500% profit on bitcoin quite good since 2018 right and the drawdown is even lower that is quite fascinating so now if you want to automate this right then simply click on the add alert button and do exactly what i showed you before copy all the things here right one two and then three, click create, and that's it. You have an alert for this time frame. You see here, Bitcoin four hour with this strategy, with these settings. You see, even shows the settings, right? You see, 44, 2, HL2, and so on, right? All there. Just make sure the expiration date does not expire, obviously. And if you don't have a super expensive trading view plan, this expiration date will expire in two months maximum. They don't allow more than two months, okay? So you have to set an alarm in your calendar to come and update your trading alerts, okay? Once every two months, you can do it, okay? It's not a lot of work. So guys, this is how you can set this strategy to work on the four hour. This is how you can automate any time frame you want. You can have as many alerts as you want, all right? I mean, there is a limit in trading view, but the limit is quite high, so I'm not sure you're gonna hit it at all. And this is how you can make money on the short term, but also on the long term. If you ask me, I'm going for the long term because there is less noise in the chart. I'm less kicked out by, you know, high frequency traders and stuff like that. Over the years, that has worked better for me, but you can do whatever you think makes sense for you. Here in this video, I hope I changed your life. I hope I've given you a great strategy with great settings, great automation. So let me know down in the comments if you like this video and also let me know what type of other content you like. Come to our freaking Telegram and get access to the strategy. Only thing you need to do is to create an account on Signum. Okay, and you need to give us your TradingView username, which is this one here on the top. This one is mine, Michael Yonida. I need yours, right? So I can add you to the list of people who has access to the strategy. For me, it looks like this, right? Access management, add new user. I have to add you here, right? So that's why I need your TradingView username. So make sure to go down below and click on the link to join our Telegram. And I see you over there. And if you're still watching and wondering, does Michael have some solution for bigger portfolios, like above 10K or more, does Michael have education or better strategies, risk management templates? And yes, of course, because I have an auto trading masterclass. This is the highest quality offering I have where I give my strategies to members and I give all of my education and my templates for creating portfolios, for tracking portfolios, position sizing, what to do in the bear market, explaining all the strategies. It's basically amazing, but it is limited to only people that it makes sense for. That's why you have to click on apply for access and we're gonna have a call and if it makes sense for you, then you might be able to join. It is a very high quality offering, so I make sure that I let people in only when they are nice and they understand the process that we're running because it doesn't make sense to force a process on somebody that wants to do other things, right? Okay, guys, with all of that in mind, I need a lot of coffee now. This video took quite some time to produce. I hope it added a lot of value. If that's the case, then make sure to destroy the freaking like button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to not miss out on any new video. And speaking of video, this is the next video you should watch. Dream. It's trading.